Well, new for you this morning, under the microscope and under scrutiny, Southwest Key manages dozens of shelters that house immigrant children, including right here in the valley. And recently, the organization has come under fire amid allegations of abuse. And now a famous face is lending her name to a fight she says is part of who she is. She helped spearhead the Me Too movement, sat courtside at Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing, but now actress and activist Alyssa Milano is taking on a new cause with deep roots here in Arizona. This is happening on our watch in the name of, of U.S. immigration, and I think that that is disgusting. So now Milano is working to get answers, filing what's called a Freedom of Information Act request to get her hands on key documents she says are painting the full picture. I think the most important thing that, that these records showed and proved to me was that they just didn't care. Milano citing the recent trouble at Southwest Key facilities here in Arizona and in other states. Workers accused of sexually abusing kids on site, including one worker who is HIV positive. And just this week, Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone says his office dropped the ball when it came to investigating these videos, which show workers pushing and shoving kids. It is no secret that this office has failed children in the past. It is no secret that I have committed to putting children as the number one priority. This does not meet my commitment that falls on me. It's heartbreaking to me that these children uh, would be ignored, that their struggle would be ignored. Southwest Key currently operates 11 shelters in our state. According to Bloomberg, the group was expected to make more than $450 million in revenue last year. We reached out to Southwest Key for a response to what Alyssa Milano had to say. And they told us in a statement, Southwest Key staff are passionate about every child who comes into our care, providing compassionate care for these children, drives us every single day. They go on to say we are aware of Ms. Milano's activism on behalf of unaccompanied immigrant children, and we disagree with her conclusions.